Welcome to part 4 of the series on business process automation. This time we talk about the order of introducing a business process management system and a database management system. A common mistake I have seen many times in practice is when an organization discovers that information is not available where and when it is needed and perhaps different information sources are inconsistent, then they come up with the idea, let's build a database with all the relevant information in it so everyone can access it. And then the implementation starts, workshops are held to agree on the data model, and a database management system is selected. And then done. Why must this fail? The problem is that we need to define the business processes that update the database. And we need to define who can read or write data. If there is no structured and controlled way of updating this new database, then the information in the database is simply not reliable. To make it more concrete, let's take the example of a configuration management database. This is a concept from the IT infrastructure library, a collection of best practices for IT service management. So the idea of a configuration management database is that it contains all the information about hardware and software so that, for example, if we have an incident, the service desk can quickly look up which items are concerned. In ITIL, there is a business process called change enablement. And this is the process that keeps the information in the configuration management database up to date. So no matter if we discover the information exchange requirements first, we need to make sure that the business process that updates our database is implemented before putting the database into productive use. Then on the other hand, the data we are using in the business processes must be stable. In our experience, business process management systems are very flexible for the control flow and the resource perspective, but less flexible for data. So the solution is agile workflow development. We do a series of workshops and iteratively develop a prototype together with subject matter experts. How to do this is a topic for another video. See you soon.